Yeah, Hearts first and foremost, um, clearly be, third best team in the country, uh, got good players, they're in good form, probably had a little bit of a, a spell for a couple of weeks there, but they've come out the, the other end of that, playing a, a new formation against Aberdeen the other night, getting a strong performance, but again, we're at the stage of the season where you could almost argue that kind of form goes out the window, everyone's still beating everyone, fans are disappointed with performances and results on one week, and then the, the same team goes out in the park and puts in a strong performance the, the, the following week, so that that's just where the the Scottish Premiership is for, for a number of teams at this stage of the season and you're right in saying that we're on the back of probably what was probably best described as a, a disappointing performance and extremely disappointing result on Wednesday night after a really strong start so for us there's a few a few rights that, a few wrongs that we need to right because we started the last two games really really well um, we managed to get our noses in front and it's, it seems to have actually affected us on the pitch, which is surprising. So that could be partly the stage of the season, you know, how important the three points are. But it's, it's a breakthrough that we actually need to have because the, these wins are really, really important. And to actually get the breakthrough so early on in games is something that we want to encourage. We actually want to get the breakthroughs, want to then be on the front foot after that. But that's probably been the main disappointment for the last two games at least. And as you say, I mean, it's just weeks. Week on week, it's just people switching about mm -hmm. and people disappointed, happy. It, there's, it's so close. But I mean, how do you go about ensuring that you can make that little bit of a difference to ensure you end up in the in the top six this season? It's it's really difficult because as a manager, you've I, I'm probably actually trying to control my emotions more than even I would like just now because so, sometimes. You know, performances and results need a certain type of response, even from the manager and certainly the players. But because things are so, so tight, um, I think consistency, controlling emotions, maintaining focus, these are the things that are actually, you know, doubly important at this stage. And it's a very unique season. It's almost unparalleled. So I think the teams that are competing for the top six, the ones that hold their nerve the best, the managers that hold their nerve the best, will undoubtedly be the ones that, you know, land where they want to be. So it's really difficult because the emotions of the game, the performances, the things that you want to see better from your team, it's trying to make sure that, that we, we carry the right message to the players so that they so have confidence, they still have belief and they still think they can achieve their targets. And we were speaking to Ryan Edwards, obviously his two own goals, um, you know, these things happen and just the luck we'd have it, two in a row and he's never scored an own goal in his life otherwise, but you know, he says it doesn't affect him mentally, have you chatted to him about that? Because obviously these sort of things, as much as they're maybe not the player's fault, it mm -hmm. plays on their mind, they've, you know, their name's next to an own goal two, two games in a row. I think what helps is the, the, the fact that We've got games in quick succession, so that there's no real time to dwell, overthink, or, or worry about things too much. It's, it's it's a stage of the season where you just need to keep rolling the dice. There's, there's loads that we would want to improve with our performances, our attack and play, you know, how we're actually getting our noses in front and how we then kind of maintain that. But we've had one session today, therefore the, the team is already, you know, quite a substantial amount of games into the season. We're currently sitting in sixth position and there, there's still loads that, that, that we would want to improve on. But at this stage of the season, it's probably more points that are the priority. Um, we want the performances to be there. We'd love to you know, excite the fans with you know, really kind of forward attack and intent performances. But also in the same token, you know, four or five points will probably be enough to actually get us into that top six position. And at this point, with sitting in sixth, um, looking at the table and how tight everything is, how confident do you feel that, that you will be at, in the top six this season? I think if you were asked most managers who are, who are fighting for that they'll have a, a degree of optimism I still fully back myself I back the players I know that there's been periods this year where we've had results and not performances the earlier part of the season when we got results or sorry performances and, and, and maybe some results were a little bit amiss but the key thing for me is it's about peaking at the right time it's about you know turning those those draws into wins it's about keeping clean sheets stopping your centre back scoring on goals like you said um, because I'm sure he, he probably still tries to get a bonus for that but I think the key thing is is, is, is staying relaxed, staying focused um, and, and just maintaining um, just the, the eyes on, on what it is that we're actually trying to achieve because it's an unparalleled situation that we're in with all the teams fighting for that top six and I, th I think it's probably going to go down to the last day so it's really important that we hold our nerve. And um, injury-wise, how's the situation with like to Tony Watt. Yeah, so Tony's came off, um, knows his own body, he seems to think he's caught it early enough. Um, he won't be back for tomorrow, but we're very optimistic that he'll be back for the Celtic game, as will Dylan Levitt be. Okay, thank you.
disappointed not to have him uh, tomorrow, but I suppose, you know, if it's not going to be long term, that's, that's a bonus. Yeah, I, I try not to be one that kind of complains too much about injuries. I mean, Charlie Mulgrew um, will, will be touch and go for tomorrow. We've had injuries to, to other key players for, for, for long spells of the season. Mark McNulty, Dylan Levitt before, so that just gives opportunities to other players. Um, and like I said, at this moment in time, at this stage of the season, it's about focusing on what, what you can control. And like I said, we're going still feeling positive, but very respectful of Hearts tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sam, is it difficult to, to gauge where you are as a team in relation to the rest of the league with kind of teams so often changing positions? Obviously more goes into it than that, but every team in the league really does seem to be so evenly matched. Yeah, definitely, and I think depending on who you'll, you'll, you'll speak to, people have different opinions on why the league is so tight, but the fact of the matter is, it is very tight. No, nobody's actually putting a sustained run of results together of you know, four or five victories. It seems to be a couple of defeats, a couple of draws, the odd win. So at this stage of the season, wins are really, really important. Um, hence the reason that the draws that we've had recently have probably been slightly frustrating for us. And then you see Livingston getting that win the other night and it catapults them you know, up the league. So the key thing for me is not to get too bogged down by league position at this moment in time. It's about looking at the performance levels and where we can actually improve and, and trying to kind of convert you know, the early dominance that we've got in the games and a kind of more sustained dominance and trying to get those three points that are really, really important. And going into the game against Hearts, obviously you've had a couple of difficult results against them this season, so is it a matter of kind of going into that game and, and rectifying those early sort of demons as you would? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Hearts are a top team. I, I think they've been in third for probably 95% of the season. Um, they've got excellent depth of squad, good individuals. Um, but look, we're at home, we'll have a good crowd tomorrow Hearts will bring a good crowd It almost feels like every game's a, a cup final just now And that's how we've got to treat it And treat it on its own merit So it's it's good for me that there's a game Coming so quickly after Wednesday Because you can bounce back from a disappointment But it'll be a really tough game for us tomorrow But if you actually look at the, the games that we've fared well in this year It's when we've come up against the top team So I, I, I would include Hearts in that as well And obviously not too many games left of the season, including the, the, the post-split game. So what are your sort of aims going forward? Is it to, to get that top six spot and see where you can go? Yeah, definitely. And look, I'd love to be in a position where we were, we were closer to touching top six, but I think ourselves and a number of other teams probably need another couple of wins. They, they, they need a win and a draw. It will depend on how the results fall, but I think the key thing for me is, is making sure that, that we understand that we're still in control of our own destiny. There's still a lot that we would like to be doing better or improve upon, but it's also recognising the stage of the season that's focusing on what it is we can control, and our final league position is still something that we can control so we've got to be positive about that um, Just a last question on, you kind of mentioned it earlier going ahead obviously in the last two games and then conceding quite quickly after and then eventually going on to only pick up one point out of the two obviously mm -hmm. you'll be disappointed with that but I suppose a positive in that is that you are taking that you know you are taking the lead and mm -hmm. you are scoring these goals mm. Yeah absolutely and I think even as a manager you take a lot of confidence from whether it's the, the work that you do on the training pitch, the message and the team talk that the players are going on at the pitch feeling confident, they can actually see how and where they're going to get the breakthrough. So when that comes, you're then actually expecting the confidence levels to rise even higher. But sometimes things don't go the way that you expect them to. We haven't reacted well to going in front the last two games, that would be fair to say. Um, and we've almost gifted the teams back into the game, which again is probably something that's that's been very unlike us because we're not a team that scores a lot of goals. The stats tell you that. And what we've been able to do so far this season is whenever we've got our noses in front, we usually keep the back door shut or as a minimum, we take something from the game. So that that's something that we, we need to rectify moving forward. Okay. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank All right, guys. Much, Thank you. Um, obviously, disappointment the other night, but you'll be looking to bounce back this weekend. Yeah, yeah, that's the, obviously the only way to go about getting a defeat. Um, so to show one as well at the last minute, and the, the way we conceded the goal, myself with the own goal. So the beauty of it is, is another game coming up and another chance for us to to get where we want to get to into the top six, and hopefully we can do that. Yeah. And as you say, disappointing for yourself with the own goal on the back of the last one, but these things just happen, don't they? I mean, it's unavoidable. At times. Yeah, I think it's the first two we've scored in my career. Um, yesterday, yeah, last night's one, or sorry, Wednesday night's one was worse than Saturday's one, obviously. Um, but it's, it's, it's strange that the first, the first two in my career to come two games on the run and probably won't happen for the next hundred, couple of hundred games. So it's just something what years ago, when I was younger, would probably affected me. Um, personality-wise and confidence-wise, but I'm matured enough and 
and experience enough now to to know things like that can happen and, and you just get on with it and put it behind you and that's that's the best way to, to try and bounce back and in a positive way in, in the experiences I've had, which you know I've I've seen come come the years I've played football. So yeah, it won't it won't it won't bother me um performance wise and it won't bother me mental, mentally wise either. Great, and then um, obviously you guys are now sixth in the table. So at that you know middle point, how important is it now that you crack on from here and get the three points if you want to ensure that you finish in the top six this season? Yeah, well I think it's four league games left, isn't it, to play? So there's obviously twelve points to play for, and people are trying to guess what what will get you top six, but you just don't know because we've all got to play each other. We've got to, you know, I think from fourth to tenth, they're all all going for that them top six places and we've all got to play each other so every game now is, is the old cliche it's massive and people are fighting for different things you know like just St Johnson and Dundee's they're fighting for their lives you're going to take points off of teams at some point and you know, the likes of Ross County and Livy who've come from nowhere into the top six race so and the likes of you know us and Hibs and your, your mother wells who've sort of hit a um, you know, drop down the table results wise, not not getting many wins and it's about picking up as many points and as mo- as many points as you can get out of these twelve and we're looking to get uh, maximum now with the fixtures we've got left. And what are you expecting from Hearts? Because they've had, you know, a bit of a disappointing run, but then of course they, they had a, a great result against Aberdeen. Yeah, but they're obviously the third best team in the league by a distance this so the table suggests at the minute. Um we had two difficult games against them, Tarncastle obviously, and and then the the first game at home. Um, but we we know we know where we where we can hurt them, and we've worked on that worked on that today, and hopefully we can exploit that on Saturday and you know take take full full three points. Obviously, it is um, very tight in that part of the table. The whole sort of middle section is is. Yeah very close but I mean how do you set yourself apart how do you go about ensuring that you can you know be that little bit different and have that little bit of edge that can ensure that you are in the top six hopefully just doing what we can and going to the plan about winning games whether you know whether you win convincingly or, or ugly you've just got to try and find a way to win and, and then when you do that it's it's obviously open other results going in favour at the minute most of them, we, what we want are probably draws out, outside elsewhere, but we can only control what, what we do and, and our results, and hopefully we get back to winning ways soon as to give us the best chance. And is it hard at the moment to try and not get bogged down in other teams' results just because it is so tight and you know, all these results are going to constantly change the table? Is it, is it tough to kind of keep the focus just on yourselves? No, that's the easy bit, to be honest, but you know, once results for you don't, don't go to plan and... You do start seeing other results elsewhere, and people picking up points, you know, be sort of behind you. You can sort of overtake you like Livy have now, and it does get frustrating. Frustration, but it's what you can't do much about it. You know, it's happened, and all you can tell is what comes next, which is Saturday for us. And you know, hopefully we do that, and, and the results are, are kind to us elsewhere. And in terms of that game on Saturday, you mentioned kind of tough results against Hearts earlier in the season. So is it a matter of now kind of also? Try to keep keep going at the table, but also kind of putting that right and showing kind of hearts that they were kind of one-off results and you could get the better of them this time. Yeah, I think you know people we've seen previously. I think they've, they've lost games to the, you know the likes of Motherwell and, and teams in and about us. So they, obviously they are beatable. They're not. They're not. Yeah, they're the third best team in the league, as the table suggests, and you know they've been brilliant for for most of the season, and they are where they are because of that. So it'll be a hard game. Obviously, we know that. Um, but the hundred percent the the beatable and, and and we believe that and, and we're hoping to show that on the weekend. Perfect. Cheers. That's good. Sorted. Okay. Okay.